game number two, Samsung versus CJ Entis. And uh, where will the NAR fall? Well, uh, you know, it, it's a funny joke, but really the prison hasn't been real for quite some time. I mean, yeah, even yeah. in Champion Summer, Space was performing better than most of his teammates at that stage. So. True, true. But, but the joke is hilarious. <laughs> it is. It will be remembered fondly for all time. Just like Long Panda, never to be forgotten. <laughs> he goes down in history with his panda note. Yep. Well, you know, we haven't given out the Long Panda Award for a while, but Kuve, I gotta say, I'm sorry, Bet. Sorry, buddy. You might. You're be, well on your way. You've been nominated for the Long Panda Award. A Rengar ban again by CJ. All right, so Lulu ban instead of Zareth in this game for right. Samsung. And similar bans for last time. Will they ban that Rek'Sai again? Or try and hand it over to Ambition? Coach Sun in the booth. Examining his notebook, do we ban the Rex sides? That's right. <laughs> well, ban it while you can. Won't be probably won't be banned too much in future patches. We'll see. Nar. Nar, okay. okay. Yeah. So well. Rex I gets left up. That has been a champion that Eve has enjoyed selecting and playing in the past. Yeah. We'll see if he locks it in this time. Looks like they might go with that first pick Lissandra this time around. This would be a very different priority from last game. Janna up again. Yeah. And they could take the Morgana from Bliss again. That is typically banned against Samsung. And Samsung has done well with that mid Morgana. I think that's Bliss's strongest champion, both in terms of laning and in terms of team fighting. So I would take that if you have a chance to get it. You know, I really just want to see Samsung take the comfort picks, be aggressive I early. I really think they just need to do what More they do best right now. Syndra. More support Syndra. Yeah, Wraith was awesome on that. Maybe not support Sizwani, but support Syndra is okay. Cassid and Rek'Sai. All right. So more comfort picks in that Cassid, and almost certainly going to Coco as well. Yep. Well, did so well with the last game. Didn't get 20 kills, but got plenty. So do you take Thresh, or do you take Janna here? You still have a chance to take Janna. Uh, you have a chance to take Thresh and not get counterpicked by the Morgana, so that's yeah. also an attractive option. That is true. If you want to play for picks, having the Thresh and the Morgana makes your pick comp quite strong you can, with the Lee Sin as well, which is you know, still available. With Fury and Wraith kind of being the stars in this team, I would really consider grabbing the bot lane now while they have a chance to take really anything they want. Also, uh, Syndra, a strong pick right here, because if you take the Syndra early, they have no idea whether your Syndra is going they could actually, this is weird on this team, but Wraith and Bliss can both play Syndra and Morgana, so yeah. you, you could make a very deceptive draft right here. You, do you really need the Jarvan, though? Not going to get taken by CJ. I guess I'll grab it anyway. All right, just not going to give away any more than they absolutely have to. I think they want to see the support pick before they actually decide on their bottom lane entirely, because they, oh, have, of, they have no idea. One of Mad Life's robot eyes is glowing there for a second. <laughs> saw it. Ah, uh, Space, <laughs> will he bring back the Callista? The crowd was like, oh, uh, they didn't sound very excited when he was hovering over that. Well, it didn't work out too well last time. Is he going to be bold enough to do it again? Come on, Space, I'm, man I'm up. guessing he is. This is... Do it. I think he will. Do it. I think he will. I think it's going to be Callista. Will it be the first Callista he's, win, though? He's got a big Space smile on his face. He does. The Space face. Looks pretty happy. He looks mis mischievous right now. He does. He's like trying to convince everybody. He's like, oops, guys, <laughs> I let it lock in. Huh? Six Please seconds, do it. five, four, yes! and there it is. <laughs> Crowd He's likes that be, one. He's going to be bringing the Callista. So this is the third attempt at Callista in Champion Spring. Well, third CJ, time's the charm. CJ lost their game at Callista. Uh, Najid lost their game with Callista yep. when OQ tried to play it. No one's tried to play it against Samsung, though. So, ooh. Ooh, I like this. I like the Blitzcrank quite a bit, actually. Wraith trying to get the hooks in after predicting the Callista movements. Yeah, could that's get, a, Could that's get the fancy. Thing. That's the thing with Callista is that it, it is a little bit easier to grab once in a while. And there is that delay, too, when the auto attack happens. You can't be as mobile. And that can mean the difference sometimes between getting grabbed and not being grabbed. Same applies to Thresh, too, as well, relatively speaking. I do like the Thresh pick here. Ooh, well, it's certainly, it's certainly better than Blitzcrank, yeah. Aurelia would be an interesting, interesting departure from the usual for Cube. Well, Aurelia is still a strong pick, 
and not something we've seen in Korea. Yeah, uh, what is played a lot EU? in EU, NA, China, everywhere but Korea, <laughs> actually. So, but we will see it this game. And that's a bit of a shame because I really do. I'm actually surprised Shy hasn't played more Aurelia, but he will be playing Mundo again. You know, we used to see a lot of Aurelia in Korea, actually, as well. You know, Flame on the old CJ Blaze team made his name on his Aurelia play way back when. Oh, Shy, a fantastic Aurelia player as well. Yeah, Mach Moon, also another major one. So it's been a region that has heavily emphasized Aurelia when it's been viable in the past. We just haven't seen it recently, which is a bit puzzling. Yeah. Uh, because I don't see a reason to not play it. It's a very strong pickup at the moment. Looks like Aurelia is rocking the Beats by Dre this game, apparently. <laughs> I don't know, Aurelia. I just don't know. I'll take a look at the final roster. And, uh, you know, this is, again, this is a really different style for Kuve to go for. I wonder how he's going to do on it. I like what we see here, though. Lane bullies. They should have preferable lane matchups in a 2v2. Pick potential. Uh, Bliss is going to be pushing his lane very hard early on, which will make it hard for Kasten to roam or to farm under his turret. And they've got a, a high degree of pick potential. So this is more what I expect from Samsung. So we'll have to yeah. see if they do better in this game. Well, it's a big moment for both of these teams. You know, will CJ give Kalista her first win in Korea, or will they give Samsung their first win in Champions? I wonder. Let's find out. It's time, guys. Will CJ get the 2-0? Let's get in the game and find out. Here we go. Wraith is confused about where those feathers are coming from. Yeah, I would be too, man. I, I'm, I'm wondering where those are coming from. Well, welcome to Summoner's Rift. Samsung Galaxy versus CJ Entis. Have you been entertained this series, Monte Cristo? I have been. Very clean yeah. game from CJ. Awesome. And you know how much entertained. I like clean games, Della. The I most do know that. The most entertaining kind of games are the ones where you play it out perfectly. Yeah, sure, and whatever. There aren't a million deaths. Yeah, okay. Uh oh, Kuve. Kuve may have to flash here. Yeah, oh, the next Cleaver misses. Well, they still get the knockup from the Unburrow. Didn't need to flash. A little bit of damage put down onto him. It was only Ambition took W at level one. Huh. That's really uh, weird. You know, I think he just was going for that knockup. They thought maybe they could catch him if the Cleaver had hit. He certainly would have been able to get under him for a bigger knockup. Right, you, do you get, get the, that. You get yeah. the movement speed from it as well. So it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I well, thought that's they make had his, a chance. They didn't. It's gonna make his jungling awkward. Yeah. It's gonna unburrow rapidly. <laughs> Let's see how this works for him. Well, Samsung with a really deep ward. He's gonna need a really good leash from Shy here. So we'll see if this sets Shy back at all in lane. Mm. Kuve starting conservatively with the flask. Yep. In the laning phase, everything else looking pretty normal. Shai is doing spamming. Some, doing some squats, you know what I mean? Mundo does need to work on those legs, so. Yeah, he skips every leg day. Look at that yep. guy. Clearly. Clearly. Him, Alistar. There's some prominent examples of why not to skip leg day in League of Legends. Certainly not League of Leg Day. <laughs> Oh, Ambition didn't do too bad. And again, you do regain a bunch of health from burrowing as well, too. So, should be okay. Whoa. Whoa. Mad Life nearly getting sentenced to death. Eve tried for a very early gank, level two. Didn't yeah. quite make it happen. Sometimes you try and pull little tricks like that, but didn't even have a buff there. Yeah. So, but, you know, flash blown, so in a way, does uh, provide you with some relief. However, the, the problem is, is that... Oh boy, here we go. Wraith coming in onto Space. Space doing a lot of damage to Fury here. Space needs to be careful backing off now after taking some damage. So that's the issue that that, yeah. that provides, is that when the jungler ganks like that, you know he's immediately going to walk back in. Well, Flash oh. Death Sentence, they get the Flash okay. out of Mad Life. Wow. Aggressive so bot really lane. Really crazy action going in the bot lane right here. Yeah, both And look at this, it also too. allows Ambition to come take the blue buff because Eve is delayed on his buffs right now, but or does Eve it. gets there in time. He has no mana though, so Ambition could maybe fight this. Yeah, it doesn't decide to go for it. 
thinks it's a bit too risky. You know what's interesting I just noticed is that both supports took Ignite this game. That's no exhaust. Yeah, wow. wow. Eve going way aggressive on Ambition. Ambition needs well, he's only to level two. tunnel over this wall. So no, he had a flash. The yeah. problem was, he well, he doesn't have E yet. Yeah, I guess so. He doesn't have E, so he can't actually tunnel under that wall. Yeah. Uh, if you do do that and you give away that buff, well, all of a sudden you're level two and your opponent's level three. Yeah. Because you need to do that third camp to get level three as a jungler right now. So Eve did end up with the advantage. And Ambition, I think, should have just tried to use uh, Smite on the blue and tried to outsmite him. Mm. Meanwhile, Eve coming around the side right now. Yeah, will they dive shy here while he's low level? Eve playing this very aggressively, but this is good. This is what uh, has worked for Samsung in the preseason. Will it work now? Shine not really giving them any opportunities. The wave just not in the right place for Eve right now. Oh, <laughs> taking a lot of damage from the Krug and then sliding his way back to Thrive. <laughs> I love these visual bugs. Oh, Ambition yeah. on the charge, <laughs> leading the charge forward. Or, I mean, uh, Eve, excuse me. Yeah. Well, I'm sure Ambition was somewhere as well, too. <laughs> yep, sticking out that spear. Rocket spear just pulls you along. <laughs> That's great. Much easier than walking. Yeah, exactly. Very true. So, uh, Coco, as you saw in that little statistics box that got brought up, is 5 0 all time on Cassidy. So, yeah, very 11. dangerous champion on him, for him. 11.2 KDA as well, too. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Wow, Rek'Sai really is fast. Whoa. Wow, whoa, look whoa. at that. <laughs> wow, this new patch has really buffed Rek'Sai's mobility. <laughs> He's moving around, though. He'll need some of that mobility to get away from Eve, and he does. There's a pause. Yeah, I think we'll. I think we may be having some issues <laughs> with the tournament realm right now. I think it's. I think there's a possibility. Yeah, I. I think there's. All right, let's see if we can read some of these. Hold on, space. Well, they, the they show. Just, the show was the first one. I think they just had the P is space. Mad life is immortal, pillar, and god. We're getting wow. very biblical with mad life. I guess so. <laughs> Crazy. Let's wait a minute to see if we can sort out some of these issues. Could be. Could Possibly be the a, internet. a little bit of a hiccup in the internet here at the studio as well. Yeah. No, that's impossible, man. Korean internet. <laughs> OP. <laughs> Mad life's like, I didn't do it. Or did he? What's up, Mad Life? You know, for a long time, it was happy life. Then things got bad for CJ, and then it was <laughs> Mad Life for a while. <laughs> But are we back to glad life? That's, that's the, question. the question. Yeah, that's that's right. I think he I think he'd be glad, especially about how he's, he's been playing in this series. He's been looking sharp so far. No matter what, I'd say he's definitely he can definitely call himself rad life. <laughs> he is yeah. looking rather. It's pretty radical. Is it? Is he, I think is so. he back in the 1980s? No, dude. Radical is more of a 90s. Early thing, 90s. Uh, tubular back in the day. <laughs> You just make it up words the kids don't even know anymore, Della. I know. Well, uh, maybe we can bring tubular back again. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> never going to come back. Who invented tubular anyway? Where did that come from? Do you know? I have no idea. It makes no sense when you think about it. Tubular? That means cool, by the way, for all you young whippersnappers out there. It means cool. <laughs> Gnarly, I guess. That one's weird, too. I think these are all, I bet they're all skating terms. Yeah, yeah. See, that's, and that's probably why I still say a lot of them, because <laughs> I still skateboard once in a while. I don't do the tricks like I used to do, though. <laughs> Your knees aren't what they used to be, though. I just poor knees. <laughs> it's true. No, if I'm crouching and I stand up, though, they do kind of crack. I jumped on a lot of stairs in high school and college <laughs> on a skateboard, not just, like, for random purposes. I had those shoes, too. Looks like we're back in the game. You know the shoes that had like the uh, the like wax plates at the bottom, so you could like grind rails with these shoes. It was really fun, <laughs> man. It was. I don't know. They called them soap shoes. Did you have the shoes with the wheels in them too? No, I didn't do that. It was a lame. <laughs> Where do you draw the line with riding on things with shoes, though? Well, cause you can't go on rails on those. Well, they get the uh, flash out of Coco there. I bet you can if you're really good. Oh wow, that death sense nearly connected. I know. That was just like a. Swag pause there by uh, Coco. He's just like, I know exactly where it's going to go to. Somebody out there knows that sh soap shoes are awesome. Not as awesome as skateboarding, but they're still fun. You know. On that scale, how awesome are the wheel shoes? The, well, you can't really do cool tricks with those. Oh, I bet you somebody can. No. Now you're going to get a bunch of YouTube videos. That's like so the people like who do tricks done. with Razor scooters. It's like, come on, guys. It's really not that cool. I'm sorry. Wow, Wraith. 
Entering the lane in style. <laughs> Hooking his way right onto the minion wave. That's right. All right, well, it looks like Rek'Sai may be setting up for just a little bit of a possible counter gank up at the top side, providing some coverage for Shy as he pushes out. Space looked intense. Nice death sentence. Space looked intense for a moment when we saw him on the screen. He was like, I want to be the first to win with Callista. So he's putting glowing red spears into the glowing green dude. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Neon Christmas. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Space actually maxing E first, which is, I think, you know, it's it's been pretty common to uh, max yeah. that ability just for the burst. Yeah, that's true. Although you really have to be careful because the thing about Callista when you do that is you sacrifice, you know, if you max Q, you get a little bit better poke. But that means that ganking four is kind of awkward because as a Callista player, when you max E, you have to get multiple spears into a target yeah. to actually deal damage. So if you throw a spear and then use your E to get a slow, well, then you don't have any more damage, basically, yeah. on that gank. So you have to be pretty active about constantly landing spears in your opponent. So if your jungler comes, you actually do get that burst of damage. Yeah, that's a very good point. Because otherwise, I think it's just better to max Q. Oh, here we go. We'll enter and bring in Eve, but a whirlwind from Mad Life will prevent that gank for the moment. Bliss and Coco still duking it out in the mid lane. Bliss a little bit ahead on CS, actually. Yeah, this, this is to be expected. Yeah. I mean, Morgana is going to bully out this castle a little bit. Yeah, oh, big action in the bot lane here. Space trying to maneuver around, avoiding... Re oh, here comes Eve again. Space could be in trouble. Oh, first blood, though, does go to Space as the teleports come down. Gets taken out eventually. CJ trading their AD carry for a support, but they do get that first blood onto Space, and he's able to k pick up the uh, BF sword. Didn't go as well as I think they were hoping, but uh, it's something. Kube still here. Yeah. Has that phage now, and they want to push that lane up. Shy going for the Sunfire Cape again, just to provide some pressure against the split pushing. Space yeah. staying cool in that situation, actually getting a bit cut off from his team, but actually turning it into a one for one ambition. Yeah, getting that first blood, not bad. Hitting six right now, and we'll see what he does with it. This Rek'Sai, I haven't really been impressed by Ambition's Rek'Sai play so far. He I hasn't agree. made a lot of opportunities. Pre six, and since Rek'Sai really, I mean, her ult isn't useful for really for ganking. Uh, you want to try and get some tunnels up. Oh, Mad Life knocked up, manages to get the knock up onto Wraith as well, so he's able to walk away, dodges that dark binding with the flash. Has to burn that summoner, but at least he doesn't give another kill over to Samsung. Coco taking a chunk out of Bliss on the return at the very least, yeah. and he did set up some nice wards, so they do have a firm idea of what's going on. Ambition. Oh, ambition, jeez. Yeah, his, his Rek'Sai has not been looking terribly stellar quite yet. Well, the thing is, Kube needs to be careful because Ambition could recall and then just go straight down. Yeah, that's smart to take it out right now. Yep. Because there's a possibility of an all-in if Rek'Sai can get that ult off and Shy lands even one cleaver. Where's he going? Bottom going to side. The bot going, to the, going to the Gromp. Get, get to the Gromp. That's why you use, that's how you use the Rek'Sai ult. But really, too, as a Rek'Sai, you want to set up some more forward tunnels so that you actually have easy ganking opportunities, and he hasn't done that yet. Yeah. He doesn't have a tunnel uh, into the river brush from the red side into the bottom lane. He doesn't have any tunnels into the river brushes in mid, and he doesn't have a tunnel uh, from try into river at top. So those are the useful tunnels from red side. Yeah. I don't know about this. I, I, I like scores Rek'Sai a lot better. Yeah, you know, I feel like Ambition, if he's not playing Jarvan, uh, Lee Sin is the safer way to go for him. Or Rengar, but they banned it. Yeah, so or Rengar. Yeah. They did decide to ban it out this series against Eve and take away a jungler that Eve has played pretty convincingly. And you can see that's a good ward, too, from Samsung. If you're playing against a Rek'Sai, look at that ward location. Yeah, I just feel like Samsung just looks very, you know, a lot more comfortable this game. Yes. Across I, the board. I agree with you. I think this is a style that suits them much better as a team. Yeah. So I really like that, though, just as a, as a, to point that out. You saw the ward right at the tip, the bottom right corner of the jungle to detect the tunnel going into the river brush. Yeah. And that's oh, a, that's a. the bot lane. Wraith taking a lot of damage. Look at that. And there's the ultimate. They're going to miss Wraith with it. They're going to pull space into the box. An ult from Mad Life may save him for now. No, it won't. He can't even get the kill, and that's two more for Samsung just outplayed. It looks like they'll get Wraith in the end with that Ignite, but wow.
this well, Callista not working out too well quite yet. It wasn't so much that they were outplayed as that was a 3v2. Uh, they tried a risky all-in without really a lot of wards in the river, so oh, it was they did easy miss for the, Eve. Uh, ult too. Well, yeah, but I mean, even if they had hit the ult right here, uh, they still would have lost both of them, and they still would have killed Wraith just because Jarvan was there, and Bliss was also roaming at the same time, so it was sure. an easy pickup. And they still got Wraith for it, so one for two. It's just that that was poor communication from CJ as they didn't really respect the jungler and mid laner's ability to be in the bottom side. Mundo actually ahead in farm. Yeah, true enough. Oh, Mad Life. life. <laughs> his, his whirlwinds have been very good this game. They've saved him a couple times now. That's what you need. All right, where's he going? Look at to this. the Grump. Look at this ward control, too, around the Dragon Pit already. This is fantastically well set up by Mad Life. Yeah. And I mean, Samsung's had a, a fairly solid early game, but it's really what's ha what happens in the next 10 minutes that's going to determine the winner, I would say. Or next 15 minutes or so. You know, once the early game kind of ends, then where is Samsung left? Yeah, they have to start getting rolling with a bigger lead yeah. here. Kalissa is going to start to get pretty scary. Yep. Yeah, it's too bad you can't use that little connecting thing between Callista and your support and just like clothesline people with it, you know? That'd be a great mechanic, actually. It would, wouldn't it? Knock up, oh, Mad Life gets flayed back. He's gonna get pulled in by the ult. They're gonna ult Fury. Fury manages to spell shield that, I believe. And so not a lot comes out of that, except for an ult used by space. I like mechanics between champions where you can yeah. maybe get some crowd control in between them. That would be fun. That would be cool, wouldn't it? We've got so many chains that attach champions to enemy champions. We don't really have anything that interacts between champions on the same team. That's right. All right. Whoa, wow. Oh, shy. Yeah, going in. No ult, though. Holds. A lot of damage on to Kuve. Kuve in big trouble here. Oh, oh or not. Okay. Or not. Wow. Shy, wow, he waited just a little bit too, he went a little bit too early. His ult came yeah. up right at the end of that. I think he was expecting the ult to come up during the fight, you're right. So, tiny, tiny miscalculation from Shy results in him getting 1v1 right there. Oh, ult popped by uh, Fury, trying to go in on the Mad Life, but no opportunities there. They do scare them away. and possibly set up an opportunity for Dragon here. Shy is back, he's got Teleport. Looks like CJ is just gonna give this one up though. Yeah, they can afford to give it up too. They're oh, really, yeah. they're still ahead in gold. They're still oh, they doing fine in this game. Coco yeah. is getting bigger and bigger on a very scary Cassidy. They did give up the first two Dragons last game too. Yeah, it's not going to be the end of the world for them. But a good pickup and a good read by Samsung right there and turning a a play made by Kuve into an objective. So yeah. there's the Irelia ult going down, giving a little bit of healing. But Kuve has uh, max W this game. So there's the stun and wow. then finishing it off with the Q. Yeah. Showing Shy how the heat end style works. Although Shy should know that, shouldn't he? <laughs> oh well. Shy going to be going for Warden's Mill next. Does have that Sunfire to keep. Aurelia off the tower. So we shouldn't see too much tower damage coming in. Mundo checking the river right now for Aurelia. Aurelia getting the crab. And then heading back to lane. Rift Scuttler, excuse me. River, let's, river crab. Let's use the correct terms. No. Well, if you're going to be that we, way, Doa. We official now. <laughs> If you're going to be that way, though, I expect you to start referring to everything as marksman. All the AD oh, carries. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Yeah. And Twitch's <laughs> alt, I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's a really bad name. I can't do that either. All right, it's so okay. The, so you there can you call go. it the river crab. Thank you. I'll allow it. <laughs> Judge Doa will allow it. Judge Doa approves. <laughs> we need a Judge Doa show where I, I uh, mediate tribunal cases. It's like Judge Judy, only way cooler. <laughs> That would actually be hilarious. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's do that. Dramatic readings what? of tribunal cases are the best. Will you be my bailiff? Okay. All right, great. I'll put people in League of Legends jail for you. Chopra can be court stenographer. <laughs> <laughs> I think that can work out. <laughs> we have all sorts of great plans here. 
Meanwhile, 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 not a lot happening on some maneuver. Space actually going for an early vamp scepter right there. I was wondering what he was going to be yeah. doing with that long sword, and so going for a little bit of sustain as he ramps into the Infinity Edge. So oh, Fury's got that IE already, though. Space is a going to be a bit behind in damage now, isn't he? Yeah, and he's also behind in CS thanks to yeah. some of these scuffles in the bottom lane. Excuse me, that's scuttles. I know it, it actually is scuffles. <laughs> yeah. Rift scuffler. Uh, it doesn't really <laughs> scuffle at all, does it? It just kind of runs away from you. There's no scuffling there. Rift runner. No Rift fighting clear. whatsoever. Rift coward. Rift <laughs> coward. <laughs> that's that's perfect. That's what we should call from now on. The Rift coward. <laughs> The only thing in Summoner's Rift that doesn't fight. That's right, the lowly Rift coward <laughs> who deserves everything he gets. I, no more mercy for the Rift coward. I agree. Well, looks like Ambition coming up to the top side now. He will be building into Tank after his warrior and Jant Eve. Yep. Holding out that Trailblazer of Fury, though. I mean, Space just doesn't have any wave clear. That's the problem with Callista. Not yeah. so good in the old wave clear department. Not really. And so this now that this Sivir is ahead, it will be quite easy to shove that lane and chip away at that tower. Should go down in a wave or two max. Eve there just to provide a counter gank as they want to secure this objective. Well, they will have no trouble at all doing that. Ambition coming in, though, getting stunned by Kuve with that equilibrium strike. They're going to go into the turret. There's a knock up. Shy getting really low. Has to flash away. Ambition, though. Manages to pick up the kill. It was a bit messy, but it works. Yeah, have both players in topside had to use Flash. Yeah. Kuve coming up with the summoner as well, but now they'll be able to push into this tower. No dragon to be taken by Samsung on the other side of the map, but they will pick up the first tower of the game at least. Sure enough. Yeah, three flashes used up in that top lane. Ambition had to burn his as well. Even Wraith standing at a ward in the river. And so easy tower now. Yep. On the top side. Shine maintaining that. CS advantage, unfortunately for him, couldn't pick up a kill. Instead, it goes to Ambition, who will be building tanky just like him. And, you know, Samsung is going to have some damage problems when it gets really late. Whee. Morgana just not the highest damage mid laner. Wow, Ambition oh. going for it. Yeah, well, tried to go for it anyway. I think that Cassidy skin looks cool, by the way. I don't know, it's kind of like a Tron sort of thing going on. I like it. I know you don't, because you don't like the way Cassidy looks, but I like it. But I do like the way Tron looks. That is true. So this is kind of like, you'd give it like a 7 out of 10 maybe or something. On the Tron appeal alone. I just want Cassidy to be reworked because his pizza arm is really <laughs> awful. Pizza arm. That's some good Photoshop stuff. Pizza the, Chef Cassidy <laughs> skin the other day. He has a void pizza for an arm. It's not really that round though. Do you mean like void pizza slice? Yes, pizza slice. Oh, okay. Yeah, just just be holding a pizza slice. Well, a pizza slicer is better than just like a slice. <laughs> is he gonna stab you, you with a piece of pizza, Doa? Only if it's like this you know, is one of your worst skin ideas. Sometimes you leave a pizza <laughs> in the refrigerator for way too long, you know, some leftovers. You freeze it, <laughs> and it gets really hard. No, you don't even need to freeze it if you leave it in the fridge for like a week. I'm, I'm single, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> so I've left this pizza in the week, and it gets really sharp. That's right. And I can fight people with it. <laughs> That's uh, Toa's Tinder profile right there. <laughs> <laughs> Got some leftover pizza. You want to play video games? <laughs> That's right. Swipe right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, boy. That's hilarious. Yeah. They love it. <laughs> And that is why Doe is single. <laughs> I'm like, wow, my phone battery only lasts five minutes because so many people want to message me. Please, ladies. No. <laughs> uh. Ah, yes. Well, Dragon's live now. Coco sure is, is looking for a flag. We'll see if he can get anything. <laughs> Teleport up for both top laners. What? Yeah, Shai and Kuve just trying to <laughs> chunk each other down in the top side. Yeah. Shy taking quite a bit. Shy can't stop Kuve's TP with Mundo, so yeah. he actually has to just chunk him out and try and get him low right there. Yep. Got to do the little John strategy. Get low. Get him low. Yep. That's true. Don't kill him. Just get him low. Just get low. No, it's no fun if you kill him. You can't party if you. See, little John. Get killed. Little John likes 
the way I play League of Legends. No kills, just strategic <laughs> Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Turret goes down for Samsung. And then taking objectives when they get low. Little John's going to remix instead of get low. It's like, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> the, the murderous Little John remix, yeah. Coming from Skrillex. Okay. Pretty much have a 50-50 on the wards right here. CJ controlling the right side of the pit, Samsung on the left side. Well, CJ looks like they've got enough of a side to uh, go in and maybe make an attempt with this dragon. Yeah, Scuttler just went down, so rift now they coward. have yeah, the Rift Coward. He was trying to hide. That's right. <laughs> the cowardly Rift Coward was, was killed honorably to provide vision for a little while. Not really killed, just beaten. Oh, teleport coming down for Samsung. And they're going to go right over the wall with that Kube trying to make something happen. All in onto Coco here. Big knock, a big knockback from Mad Life. They will be able to get a couple kills here. Samsung taking out the fight. There goes Space. And what an engage by Samsung. This is the Samsung Galaxy that we got excited about in the preseason. Finally, finally back on some comfort picks, playing it aggressively. They get the Dragon, and they get a lot more than that. Yeah, and now they actually jump out to a gold lead this game. Their yeah. second dragon as well, so they're looking good so far. Especially Kube, who's been having a rough time in that top side, picks up a solo kill onto Shy, and then starts running rampant, teleporting yeah. in, gets the Q over the wall to lock up Ambition right they're there. They're going to get another trade here, too. Look at this. Okay, here comes oh. Ambition. I don't know if he's going to actually be able to do anything. However, nope, he's no, he's just going to fire the Raptors. So. Yeah. Alt to the Raptors. Well, Samsung looking pretty good, and I gotta say, Callista, maybe not the best AD carry choice well, right now. And I mean, Coco mm. gets one force pulse off before getting knocked up. Yep. And then the chains coming in as well. Shy just was not even a factor here, too. Yeah, he was late. I mean, he yeah. couldn't get a good angle for the flank. And that's the thing is it's very hard to flank against teams with Sivir because if a Sivir team, a good Sivir team sees you flanking them, they'll just pop Sivir ult and then run at one side. Yeah. Uh, and try and force the fight. So really going to be difficult for Shy to use Mundo in that fashion in this game. Instead, he needs to start thinking about grouping with his team and just providing a meat shield when Sivir tries to engage. True enough. Because well, Samsung really doesn't have the greatest poke. So uh, all they have really are the hope of catching a Dark Binding and then Boomerang Blades. So th the window can be in front. Oh, all right, they're going to try to ult. They're going to go in onto Fury. A lot of damage, oh, and they wow. get him before he clicks the Lantern. Oh, that worked. Good chain CC. Yeah, no kidding. Coming in, but that'll be, I think, Mad Life picking up that kill, so not exactly yeah. ideal. Oh. 2-2-1, two, two, looking pretty good in my opinion. <laughs> More kills than the AD carry, Doe is pleased. Yeah, yeah, really. Space popping around. That's right. Watching Callista is hilarious. It is. Oh, a little bit of damage onto Eve as well. So Space will be going for the Blade of the Ruin King next. Should be quite amusing. The more attack speed Callista gets, the faster she can hop. And farther as well, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. The, that's dependent on boots. Oh, yeah, that's right. Boot tiers decide that. It's true. So she's she's achieved maximum hoppage. She can hop over the wall of a cataclysm with that action. That Gromp is just insulted. He's like, wow, you come over here and hop more than me. I'm like supposed to be like a frog toad thing. Uh oh, Shy uh -oh. may be in trouble there. I think he's in a lot of trouble here. He's ulting. Can he get away? I mean, yeah, he's Dr. Mundo, but there's a flash. They're going to keep chasing Eve there as well now. Shy Bliss slowed down. Up. Yeah, Bliss coming up as well. Shy dodges a dark binding, gets back to the turret, and that is Dr. Mundo in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. Well, he also has three armor items right yeah. now and Ninja Tabi, so yeah. it's going to be really hard for Sivir and Aurelia to kill him by themselves. And you'll notice that he's not building any MR this game. It's because this Morgana really isn't going to do a lot of damage in the late game unless he stands on top of the tormented soil. Morgana, very low damage, late game mid, useful primarily for crowd control. Well, seeing that really makes Shy seem scary in an upcoming oh, team fight as well. If he can get a good angle, he will do terrible things to people. Yeah, there's there's not going to be a good way to deal with this Mundo in the late game, as we see right here. Yeah. He's able to defuse this situation quite easily 
forces a lot of ults, has to use his flash out of the Cataclysm, has to use his Randuin's active, but other than that, he's just running straight. Nice dodge on that. Yeah, sees the Dark Binding coming in, good heads up play, and yep. there he is, hacking away at these wards. Yep, and one for the Dre <laughs> Baron, whoever you are. Here's one for you, Baron. Yep. Who's still wearing all his Christmas gear. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of languishing in patch 4.21 still here. But last week, this is the last week. We've been told. For we were real. told that last For week. For reals too. this time, yeah. <laughs> so. We hope they mean it. Well, it's okay. Baron's ears are very warm. It's still cold in Korea, so that's why. You know, Baron still needs to stay warm. Coco starting to get quite scary as well. No yeah, yeah. sign of a an Aegis on the horizon for Samsung. I mean, this Mundo's going to do a lot of damage, and they're not, you know, they don't really have a nice way of dealing with it, even with their front line. You know, Space has built up a good amount of items as well, too. So if he can get good positioning in the team fight, he will be able to contribute quite a bit as well. You know, it's really just kind of peeling for Space and keeping the engage on CJ's terms rather than Samsung's. Very interesting that Fury built a Phantom Dancer this game instead of a ship. So he's decided that between him and Morgana with their abilities, they naturally have enough wave clear to deal with this. Yeah, I suppose so. So we'll see if that pays off for them or if CJ's going to be able to easily push turrets. Yeah. But looking at CJ's composition, they have pretty bad siege already. So I actually agree with this decision. I think that's a very smart play from Fury to go for the big, bigger single target damage item. Uh -oh. oh, flash death sentence onto Mad Life. He's going to come in, though. There we go. Space now with a pretty good angle. Nice knockup. Can they make anything happen? Space just getting evaporated, though. Jumped on. Shy is in the fight, though. Doing a lot of damage, but is it enough? Looks like barely it's enough for CJ to escape. They managed to go two for three, but Samsung still coming out ahead that fight. I didn't even really see what happened to Mad Life in that fight. He didn't even have time to use his ultimate, I think, it before was... he was just blown up. And that was a bit weird. That that one is a bit strange. Yeah, I need to see that again, because it looked like to me he just vanished. Well, it almost looked like the death sentence fizzled. Comes right. In. There we go. Yeah. Where did he go? Where's Mad Life? I don't Oh, he got ulted by space. That's what oh, happened. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he was... Oh, that's right. He okay. was taken away. It was a little confusing due to... It looked like a graphical glitch right yeah, there. Yeah, because usually you see the, the support fly over to the carry. Yeah, I think even Mad Life is confused by that because he didn't yeah. actually pop his ults. That's true. He never got to use it. I think he just died while uh, while space was carrying him around. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's right. actually what happened. Really weird interaction right there. Yeah. Still getting used to watching Callista. Man, when you're playing support with the Callista, it's very disorienting the first few times. Yes, it is. Pretty much actually every time. It's, <laughs> you just suddenly are moved. And then you've got this like AD carry that you randomly got matched up with carrying you around. You're like, I got to get out of here <laughs> immediately. Well, Scuttler is on the side of CJ, but yeah. they're waiting for Shy. Shy has teleport up, so they... He's teleporting now. Coming right into the fight. Dragon, though, does go to Samsung. Kuve knocked up. Well, actually, Spell Shield prevents that one. Coco coming in to try to do a bit of damage. They re-engage. There's a nice knockup. Good Cataclysm damage in there, but Space claims his first victim. But look at this, a double kill already for Fury, and they're not done yet. Ambition on the run dodges the Dark Binding. And with Coco there zoning, he should be able to get out. Space pushing. Ben Kube may be able to pick up this kill. Can he do it? Space still trying to escape. Space able to just hop through the jungle so easily with the use of his passive. Look yeah, at this. I guess so. Oh, Space! Uh-oh. Space is in trouble now. Equilibrium strike, strike doing a lot of damage. Dodges a dark binding. Can't jump over that wall. He's dodging so much. But in the end, Fury gets the unofficial triple kill there in that fight. And... Samsung maintains a little bit of a gold lead, a little bit of a turret lead, and a pretty massive kill lead. And a big dragon lead as well. Yeah. So actually it was going to be Eve who picked that one up in the end. Shy teleporting a little bit too late, and they miss the death sentence onto Coco. Coco tries to go in big shield onto Kube, though. That is a Eve. fantastic and a great cataclysm. Sees yeah. three people right there, instantly just cataclysms and flashes them out. They funnel Shy into this space next to the actual Cataclysm. He has the Grievous Wounds from Morgana. Oh, Samsung going for a okay. Baron right now. This I, is a pretty uh, well, risky I mean, idea. Well, Coco is in bottom. They only have three people there. Space back in base. Oh, wow, moment. you're right. 
They may actually, well, they're going to back off. A little bit scary. Shy coming in, doing a lot of damage here. There's the box. There's the flay. Flashes out of the box. Bliss right there. Ambition, Mad Life. CJ needs more damage, but it looks like they have barely enough to prevent that Baron for now, but a close call for CJ. Uh, shows how big Shy is getting, though, and CJ yeah, can does. certainly still win this game. Well, it's, you know, the thing is, is the later we go, the better CJ's chances get. And then Cassidy starting to get scary. Dan Shy is massive right now, having completed that Thorn Mail. Yeah. He's going to be very problematic for Samsung to deal with in a reasonable fashion. So there's Death Cap completed for Coco as well. Yeah, these late game champions are starting to really, really ramp up. And Fury, he's been playing great so far. Been part of 12 of his team's 13 kills. But he uh, he needs to really come up big in the late game. And I'm just not sure he has enough peel in order to make that happen. Because even Kuve really need to get on CJ's back line or to lock down Kassadin. They can't spend too many resources dealing with this Mundo. Yeah. So Bliss, really, I think the onus on him to make sure that Fury stays safe along with the help from Wraith. Die, Rift Coward. Flee. He's flee, trying. Winkling. He doesn't flee very quickly, though. It's true. Oh, wow. Well. It's... It's, I, I, you know, the thing is, is it's such a pathetic little animal, but I really like the mechanics, though. I like that you kind of have to chase it around. It's fun. And well, it makes it a little bit risky. You know, you really have to be careful when you take out the Rift Coward. Yeah, I, I like it as well. Although, I will admit, it's not so much fun considering that I play jungle. <laughs> that is true, I suppose. You, you have to chase it around a lot. It makes me really scared, too. Because yeah. as soon as it starts, like, running too close to a bush, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, whose side are you on, anyway? <laughs> It makes sense, though, you know, when you're when you're mercifully beating this small animal, that it wouldn't try to lead you into the uh, the clutches of the enemy team. Save itself by sacrificing you. That's right. It makes sense, and then it just immediately dies to the other team. So, <laughs> not the uh, not the smartest animal to ever grace Summoner's Rift. Surprising natural selection hasn't hasn't eliminated them yet. Well, yeah, it's kind of the opposite. They, these animals that are less fit to survive start appearing. That's a uh, because they're kind of the they're reverse. useful on Summoner's Rift. I guess so. I don't know. Well, they're useful for vision, so right. That's why they put them there in Summoner's Rift. They're, they're, they're bred specifically for this purpose. Oh yeah. boy. Oh, oh wow. Space. Actually, space saves S Mad Life there. Yeah. Creative use of the Callisto Ultimate. Yep, you can do it sometimes. Yeah. Samsung really wants to engage here. Oh, Kube, taking a little bit of damage. Coco locked up, though. They do grab Shy as well. Cataclysm comes through. Space and Mad Life on the outside. Mad Life providing that heal. And now Space has had so much time to go after these people. And the kills start coming in. Ambition gets one. And CJ chasing. They want more out of this. This is the first team fight that they've really won here. And they will continue winning in Space with a kill over the wall. Tries to get another one. Double kill for Coco in the meantime. And he lives, actually, through the damage coming in from Samsung. Only Wraith left. And this is going to be a Baron for CJ for sure. Yeah, and right there, that's what they needed to do. Shy yep. just needed to be in the Whoa. front. As Coco needs to get out of there, getting a bit too low, playing yeah. a bit too risky. They finally found the fight they wanted. Snack, uh, and it was especially good because Wraith had used his box to try and kill Mad Life. So that was one peel tool down right there. Yeah. Perfect time for CJ to attempt the re-engage and actually pick up a, a victorious team fight. So Shy running in, again. they just can't kill Shy anymore is the issue. And so as long as Shy is in the front line, that's when they're really going to shine. Wraith tries to get into the mix and deal with Shy, playing him out, but he eventually just is able to walk up onto Fury. Fury does block a cleaver with the spell shield, but doesn't really buy him any space right there. Well, Manlife did a great job of waiting with his ult as well, too, until he saw Kuve starting to come towards space and then just pushed him back, provided the heal. And Team fight was over at that point. Yeah, that was the fight CJ wanted, all yeah. in one direction, without some of those crucial peel spells there. And <laughs> now they're going to be able to pick up their first dragon of the game. That will be immensely helpful for them as they're at this late stage. That six percent AP and AD will mean quite a bit in terms of yeah, that's a gold value now. for stats. And they've got the Baron, so they can immediately transition into a push. You know, they need to make a debonair Thresh skin. 
when he grabs people, it's kind of like one of those old vaudeville things where you like grab somebody with the cane <laughs> off the stage or something like that. That would be fantastic. He's got a top hat. Yeah, that'd I be like a, that one. That's that's a good one. Let's make that one happen. Debonair Thresh. The audience boos whenever he's uh, like <laughs> winding up the hook. That's right. Whenever he uses the box or something, like <laughs> curtains come down and it just goes da da that, da 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 da. That's so good, though. I know, right? It'd be awesome. Oh, Rek'Sai is going to appear in the mid lane. Hello, Ambition. So we do have Coco split pushing against Aurelia. Yeah. But with the wave clear, I mean, CJ is going to have a really hard time actually pushing down towers against this Samsung composition. Ambition now making a transition into the bottom lane. See if he can help out here, push the wave, because they pretty much have no chance of taking it if Morgana and Sivir are right there. Well, those Baron powered minions now. Yeah, you can see right now, they're, not, they're, just leaving, they're just leaving the Sivir lane every time. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't need to worry about it. Turret goes down in the mid lane. I'm actually surprised they managed to get through Bliss right there, but. Oh, Shy gets grabbed. They're going to go in on him, taking some damage, gets locked on by the box as well. He's going to pop that ultimate and waltz out. Here we go. Shy trying to get behind. They need to zone this out in order to actually take the tower. Yeah. And they will be successful in doing that. A little bit of a delay on the rotation from Samsung into that bottom lane, and they get two towers. Well, CJ getting a nice big lead now. And, you know, this, this is, again, you know, this is more the typical Samsung game that we're kind of used to is that they had a good early game. They made plays. But when it got to the late game, you're seeing the veteran status of CJ really make that difference, and CJ just kind of able to outplay Samsung. Well, it's also just shy, getting shy. huge. And there are limitations to the composition that Samsung decided to run. They have to look for those picks, and they can't allow themselves to be engaged on in the late game if they don't have adequate appeal for Fury, who got quite fed. But all things considered, I'm really happy to see Samsung returning to yeah. some of the, I, I just think they were not going the right direction with some of these drafts and champion selections. Well, and I, they yeah. really came out swinging this game and showed that skirmishing skill that we've seen in the past. When, and we really haven't seen it so far in, in champion spring. We saw it in the preseason, then it just vanished. And now that we, they aren't, they're not running Mundo and double tier, yeah. we actually have a little bit more of an exciting game on our hands. Well, Samsung won a lot of games in the preseason with this style, and, and I think it's really good to see them go back to it. Certainly worked. I also, mean, it certainly just, looked much better anyway. Yeah, shows off how good Fury and Wraith are as yeah. well. Yeah. And Eve. Yeah, Eve's and Eve. a great place. Yes. And Kuve, of course, looking far more comfortable this game. Oh, yeah. Makes you wonder why we haven't seen the Aurelia yet, because he does seem to be pretty good on that champion. And he's good on his top chase, too, but Samsung yeah. has been banning that out against Coco tonight. Oh, CJ. Clearing back a little bit of that vision as they push down through the map again. CJ playing slowly. Yeah. Uh, even though they did jump out to a pretty impressive gold lead and they finally got that critical first dragon as well, they just don't want to take any unnecessary risks, close this, get the first Callista win trophy. May yep. not have been pretty, but. <laughs> yeah, 3 5 and 7 is exactly the stellar KDA <laughs> that you'd hope, but. You'd hope for his nady carry, but a win is a win is a win, right? Well, I mean, the Callista was very helpful in yanking Mad Life out. I, yeah. If they hadn't had the Callista ult, they wouldn't have been able to get that last team fight, which really turned things around. Got very him a Baron true. and two towers as well, so yeah. uh, that was a good heads up play by Space. I agree. Using the ultimate Ooh. as a disengage tool. Here we go. Teleport. It looks like Samsung's going to try to flank here. They're pushing it back. Oh man, Cataclysm used. There's a kill for space already. Ambition comes in with a nice big knockup. Shy rushing his way into the back of the fight now. Turns onto Bliss. Bliss not able to do much. A double kill for space. And this teleport for Kuve did not work out. Well, that was just a miscommunication. Yeah, Eve, went Eve went in, in way too early. Way too early. Uh, yep, they know it. <laughs> Kuve. And, and you know, this is a hard loss for Samsung because they did have a lead and they, they could have been confident coming into this. But at the same time, this is the most competitive they have looked so far this season. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think we 
I think we will see them win a game or two, maybe even a match by the end of the season. But this one is all CJ as they go after the Nexus at 40 minutes. And there it is, the 2-0 for CJ Antis. GG. And the first win for Callista. Yes. Now we've Let got the, the kisses begin. <laughs> we have the first blind pick Zareth win coming in last week. Now yeah. we have the first Callista win. Overcoming <laughs> obstacles. That's the story of Champion Spring. Yep. I will say I think we have a long way to go to see Callista play to her potential. Yeah, and Samsung, not looking too happy, but that that was the best game we've seen so far from them this season. Yeah, I the think they, re they season, return yeah. to their strengths. This is what they should be doing and focusing on from now for from now on.